you sent me this article, and I don't know if you know this. I really liked Green Lantern as a kid. I oh, had, yeah. I had two comic books. Well, I had a few comic books of each, but mm -hmm. Wolverine, not like not X Men, but Wolverine. Wolverine, like yeah, his, I had the individual so, Wolverine. I love it. Oh, dude, Wolverine, he's a freaking beast. They oh, never, yeah. they never did it right. I would mm -hmm. love for them to do Wolverine correctly, like the savagery of Wolverine, um, and Green Lantern. I don't know why I really liked Green Lantern comics as cool. a kid. I I had Green Lantern, and so when Green Lantern came out <laughs> with Ryan Reynolds. I, I liked i look i liked it but i was younger i think i was i don't know 20 when it came out and i wasn't really you know cgi was still kind of new and i kind of right. knew that it was it was kind of like his suit was fully cgi like it it didn't age well but the movie itself right the the writing and the you liked it huh i mean it wasn't i i recently watched it again like i think it was like two years ago i watched it randomly and I'm like, you know what? When I compared the woke trash that's coming out well, nowadays, yeah, today, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was like, all right, I was, you know, it's not as bad. It's not as bad. I like Sinestro in it. That was my favorite part. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then, now I, I kind of heard about this a little bit, but I kind of purposefully was like, eh, I'm gonna ignore this. <laughs> but you sent me this article, and I couldn't help but start laughing reading this because this is. This is funny. All right, let me let me show everybody this. This so George George sends me this rebooted queer Green Lantern comic flops hard as writers call comics fans <laughs> haters and queer phobes. Oh boy, here we go. And there's Green Lantern and his geez, looks like he uh, like an underage boyfriend. Jeez. That is uh, disgusting. I'm going to get that off the screen. Uh, last month, comic book writer Tim Sheridan jumped to his social media to urge his fans to go out en masse to buy his reboot of the Green Lantern story, which features pages, not just a page, pages of gay sex between the title character and his boyfriend. But it looks like the scribe's efforts fell on deaf ears as his Alan Scott Green Lantern number one has landed with a thud with a few, with few sales. Uh, what a shocker. What a shocker. Do you know what's odd about this is Sheridan what? went out a few weeks ago and he was both berating people like everybody who doesn't like this is a hater. And I think it's in that article. It's the eighth paragraph up from the bottom okay. where he's like, we outnumber them. So think about this. This has nothing to do with hate. It's all about taste. You have the United States of America. About 3% to 3.5% are gay. That, that's, that's a fact. Yeah. The rest of it, the, the country, is heterosexual. So let's add in another 2% for the crazy uh, liberal for suburban moms. Because well, it's the new emo thing to be cool. queer. Right, so be cool. people yeah. who aren't but who call themselves intersectional allies. So you have about a 5% <laughs> market share, right? Sure. Nobody who can pour piss out of the boot would ever invest in any one of these properties because there's no return. Again, it has nothing to do with being gay. Heterosexual couples do not want to go and watch a movie, read a comic book that they can't relate to. It's like, you know, it, it just doesn't I, do I don't want porn. a comic book with a bunch of gay porn in it. I, that's not right. that doesn't interest me and I, I mean i i don't remember any comic book that i've owned with any porn in it at mm -hmm. all like heterosexual porn either right. or sex in the book like when i when i think about a batman comic book i'm thinking about him kicking it's thugs a, asses right. and stopping crime in gotham i'm not thinking about like him getting down with catwoman yeah, that's like the that, biggest that's... scene he ever did. Them, them pissing. But it's the same way in this right. country. You see, Glad and all those see Tim Sheridan. They take it like because it's their only, it's their only gimmick. These right. are haters. These are bigots. These are foes. But it's not true in this country. Again, you got ninety-two to ninety-five percent of the country are meat eaters. That that those are the figures depending which report you read. The rest are vegetarian. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Again, it's about what you like. But that's why the ads on television, online, are about fast food burgers, meat, steakhouses, because they're going, this is our market. So when yep. these people make it's like this weekend, you had the Marvels. It bombed. A movie which right By the now. Way. <laughs> no, 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 but that's great. But, but think about it. A movie that right now, if it had done a little bit better, Hollywood would be popping champagne because it's the culmination of their fever dream. 
an all female led superhero film. No real men of any consequence. You got yep. Samuel Jackson phoning it in as the space janitor for a paycheck. Just getting paid. Then how come it didn't work? Women in America outnumber and, men. And two a female to one. director, too. And a female director who actually thinks Captain America is a villain and killing white people is great in her interviews. <laughs> no, she does. I've got Wait, She they, said that for Candyman because they wow. asked her in Candyman, how come you only kill white people in here <laughs> in her Candyman reboot? And she's like, well, given the way that I developed it, and you always see black people, it's like, why not? And you're like, yeah, it's all whitey. It's no Asians. It's no wow. one else. Is she so, from South Africa? She's from New York. <laughs> yeah, it's South Africa, which, by the way, is sad. You know, the I government know, in really, South Africa. I don't mean to joke. It's fucking no, horrendous. What's but going you know on what they there? just did over the weekend? They now, the president has banned any farm, any farm that exports more than $500,000 worth, of yeah. most products can no longer export them to Europe, the UK. Yeah, I saw that. He's not going to kill insane. them. Insane. If they're white. If they're white. If they're white. <laughs> Unless they have, only if they're white, though. That's kind of to, an important caveat. To that. They have to have uh, black ownership at least have. So, so you got Tim Sheridan saying everybody hates. I'm like, it has nothing to do with hate. It's not our taste. This will never succeed. And actually, the gay community should be happy because if you ever had. 20% or more of the country being gay, we're dead in a generation because you're not going to have, we don't have enough kids now. Well, you have that, to have them. That, that's, that's just a little tip of the iceberg too, because now they're convincing uh, more people that they're trans mm -hmm. when they might just be, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, confused by their teacher indoctrinating them and getting them to chemi chemically castrate themselves, thus cutting themselves out of the gene pool. It's insane. Right. But anyway, let's, let's watch, let's watch this guy. <laughs> Plead, because this shit is quite funny. Hey, I'm Tim Sheridan, writer of DC's Alan Scott, The Green Lantern, and I just opened up a box of advanced copies of issue one, which look amazing. This is the main... Okay, I gotta give it to him. Mm -hmm. That That is a good cover. All right? It does look like a cool a, a cool cover. I, I like the cover. All right? It doesn't... doesn't uh, I, I, I liked Green Lantern, though, right? So it's coming from someone who likes Green Lantern. I'm like, all right, that's, that's pretty dope. Main cover, which also gets a virgin foil variant, and also the foil variant, pretty that's cool. By the great and powerful David Talaski. There's also two other amazing variants: one by John K. Snyder the third, and this mm -hmm. beautiful portrait by. Nick that Rose. one is so classic Green Lantern, right there. That's I don't like remember so... Green Lantern with a cape, though. I don't recall him. Is that how he was True. in the beginning? Well, he can. I feel like he could manifest a cape if he wants. No, I just I don't remember. That. I don't know if that's that. I'm, that's all I'm asking. For. I don't think comic so. news. I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> But, okay. you know, who knows? It's a different green. Like, there's thousands of Green Lanterns, so they can all, they'll, you know, wear whatever they want. But uh, the covers are cool. Please. I am here to this ask you This is where it gets funny, favor. though. The book comes out next DC Tuesday, October 24th. But already the haters and the queer phobes are out in force, doing everything they can to see that this book tanks. They use code, and they make it sound like they have legit problems with a book they have. Th I don't think that's true. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's, that's this is gaslighting like it crazy. Is. I don't give a fuck if it survives or not. I, I'm not. I'm not advocating, and I've never seen anyone advocating for anything to bomb. They just sell it like Marvels. I, no one was was I even amongst the the fellowship. I didn't see anyone like hoping it was going to bomb. They were like, "Yeah, it's probably going to bomb because of this bullshit that they're doing." And then it bombs, and they're like, "Yep, it bombed just as we thought." They weren't going like, "Nobody go, nobody go watch no. the Marvels." Like, not once did I ever see that at all. I will uh, have to say this: I didn't root for it to bomb, but I have to tell you, it makes my heart very happy that, whenever, whenever you see that's a big e, difference. Whenever you see a bad corporation, that <laughs> yeah. bad things happen to an evil company, I, I'm pleased. I'm yeah. happy well, as a that, creature. But that's totally different, you know. I, and I understand that because they deserve to bomb. Yeah. Right. They're 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 they don't care about their actual fan base, the people who love mm -hmm. the IPs. They're not catering to those people. They're catering to that tiny little m minority that, that doesn't, doesn't even give a shit. They <laughs> don't even care about the IP. All they care is that they're being represented and simply knowing it. They're like, yeah, we're good. We don't need to support this product because we got what we wanted already, which is just them catering, being catered to because right. they're entitled. And that's what they feel like they deserve. But see, that's right. the same.
Oh, sorry. Right. I was going to say it's the same thing. What he's talking about, he's missing the point. Again, he's exactly. creating a product for what you'd call like an art house in each group. He should be like, this is my market. This is what I need to budget towards. These are the people who are going to buy it. The same way Marvel's. Women outnumber men two to one. Less than 3% showed up. It was all men. Those are yep. the numbers from Deadline. Women didn't go out for the feminist film because they don't want to watch that because normal people, they want to be entertained. They want to escape. They want to see women falling in love with women or women being strong but being female, being sexy and being smart but being flawed, not Mary Sue's. They yep. want, men want to see the same thing, but they want to have it. This is all be it. That's why his argument, you said it perfectly, it's gaslighting. So people will talk about it, spread the word, and go buy it. Yeah. All right, let's listen to the rest. The truth is, they just... Oh, let's, let's listen to the truth, guys. ...don't like that there's a queer hero in the upper ranks of the DCU. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nobody no, knows I, I don't dude. give a fuck. <laughs> I, how would I even care? Why would I even care? That doesn't matter to me what the, who they like to sleep with. It's the fact that you made pages of gay porn inside of it that people found out, and they were like, what the fuck is this? Like, no, thank you. I don't want to see that shit, Okay. I'm not interested in that. What the fuck? Sorry, that is just annoying as shit. Oh my God. It, it, they instantly turn it like, oh, we're hated because people want, don't want to watch us fuck or think about us fucking. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Holy shit. I don't want to watch anyone fuck. There's one person that I enjoy that with, and it's my wife, and that's how it should be. Jeez. You know, if he wouldn't have said anything... More people would have bought it out of curiosity because they would have been like, Green true. Rainbow, and then it would have stood or fallen on its own merits. Exactly. Again, there you go. Exactly. The only way we can shut these people down is to make this book an undeniable success. <laughs> the only way to prove to the, all the big publishers that there's Wait, a huge market coming. for the authentic stories about LGBTQIA plus characters. Wait, it's coming. Uh, and that these stories are for everyone is to buy the heck out of books like this. What? This one's only six issues, and each one has a few variants. So I'm asking, if you have the means, buy them up. Buy extras to give to people you think really need to read it. Now, you might say this sounds like a great way for Tim Sheridan to make a bundle in royalties. Well, no, I won't make a penny because every single royalty I receive from these six issues will go straight to a charity that's very important to me and that I've supported for a long time, the Elton John AIDS Foundation. Which mm. Okay, wait. Even though we've I'm already put... kind of... I got to put a pause in that for a second because <laughs> this is uh, speaking of the Elton John AIDS Foundation. This is Biden. By the way, it's all his fault that we're spending six billion dollars in taxpayer money this month to help AIDS fight HIV AIDS. <laughs> Did he just Did say the that? Yo, you didn't you didn't hear that before? I heard that one. Dude. Oh shit! Yeah, that was Biden giving him an award and then <laughs> saying it's his fault what the? that we're spending six billion dollars to fight AIDS. <laughs> yes, like this is a real clip. This really happened. President Biden blamed wow. Elton John for AIDS. <laughs> Damn. Okay, sorry. I I had to show that because that cracked me up when wow. I first uh, saw that. Anyway, so that's that's the foundation he's he's trying to send, you know, for. You gotta uh, wait so for you... his big closer. You'll he, oh, yeah. you'll know it when you hear it. Everybody works to prevent HIV stigma and provide compassionate care for all communities. I am asking you to join the core. If you care about truth and justice, about shining a light in the darkness, mm -hmm. if you think comics are and should continue to be for everyone, or if you just want to force these comics gate trolls back under the bridge they crawled out from, please support our book and send a message that the bullying and the lies and the hate have to stop. Everyone deserves to see themselves in comics. Everyone needs allies. And if you're an ally, now is the time to step up. We outnumber them. Thanks. So let's pool our power, vote with our wallets, and 3%. beat these assholes. 97% Add as many 3%. of these four variant covers for Alan Scott, the Green Lantern, to your pull list today. Pick them up in store next week, Tuesday the 24th. Thank you so much. You, he got high on his own supply. 97% of the population totally. versus 3% of the population. You outnumber no one. No oh, one yeah. hates you. No one cares. Yeah. Uh, well, let's let's tune in to uh, find out how it went, shall we? Hmm. 
But it seems as though Sheridan doesn't have as many fans as he hoped, because so far, issue number one of Alan Scott, Green Lantern, has thoroughly tanked. Bounding into comics, uh, comics reports, it appears that few want to see a big gay Green Lantern reboot to date. The book did not appear in the top 50 selling books. Worse, it ranked at 25,763 in the Kindle store and number 170 for superhero comics and graphic novels. The book was envisioned as a way to reimagine the long comic book history of character Alan Scott after DC Comics revealed in 2021 that Scott was a closeted gay man. Superhero hype reported early in October. Wow. Oh, cool. Make make her gay and put a lame chick in it. <laughs> or, when it, you know, ever, however it goes. Put a chick uh, in it, make the, her gay, and make it lame. Yeah. The new book engages a lot of an, you know, anti-Americanism, uh, too. Back in the day, Green Lantern character was an important part of the Justice Society in America, or of America, a comic book staple of patriotic American superheroes fighting to defeat Hitler in World War II. But in this new tale, the J JSA turns out to be a shill effort spearheaded by FBI villain J. Edgar Hoover. And at first, Alan Scott does not want to join the group because he feels it is just a, a jingoist. jingoist. What is that? Jingoist. jingoist. It's just kind of like propaganda. That's another way to say propaganda, okay. dogmatic propaganda. A jing no, jingoist you know propaganda what? operation for the USA. All right, what were you going to say? Why is he making Ed J. Edgar Hoover a villain? Dude wore dresses. He should be like, that's our fucking hero. Well, they're not the smartest, are they? Come on. get Know your history. <laughs> Wait, J. Edgar Hoover wore dresses? Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah. He no, was, I didn't know that. Why? Yeah, oh, what? Yeah, he was, you know. He was a, he was a tranny. Are you, am I allowed to say that? I don't, I don't even know. think I'm allowed to say I that I did the work, so you did the... Jeez. Well... <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. I already did it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, you know what? Who cares? Who cares? This this shit bombed, and it's happening all over the place, and the copium is so thick. All right? Look at this. This is um, the people. You know, this is just Luke Prime. I don't know who this is. The Marvels is, without a doubt, one of the most comic book-like comic book movies ever made. Careful, the American white guys who call everything with a woman in it woke won't like this. this hold, 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 hold on. The white guys who represented 52% of the audience? Right. Women didn't no, no, show up. More than that. I mean, let's be real. Like, what's the percentage of guys that go and see Marvel movies? It's more than 51%. Yeah, Deadline has the breakdown by age and, and, and gender. It was funny. It's like almost no women showed up it was like 20 to 25 right. year olds 18 to da, 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 30 to, it yeah. was men everyone's everyone's passing this one around survey shows women mm. failed to turn out for the marvels as if there's some like there's some sort of like unspoken rule that women need to show up automatically right. to support something because it's led by a woman and has like women uh, women in the front no hey, well, it turns out the women didn't give a shit about this movie well, what are you talking had... about? Ha Hollywood believes you have to be an ally. What are you doing, women? Get your ass in the theater. But then they're not saying Shame anything about you. the first Muslim superhero, Kamala Khan. Where are the 1.5 billion? What? Where's one yep. one person? Bad is bad. You got good movies, you got bad movies, and you got woke. And woke, it's unmistakable. They're pretty much like a 3D printed burger pack. Nothing like the real deal. They just don't. <laughs> no one wants them. They have no appeal. And that's the same thing True. that Sheridan is trying to do. If he would yep. have put out, look, I've made a brand new Green Lantern, besides the fact that he hates America, which, of course, yeah, every American wants to know that. It's I wouldn't like, have don't... liked that Green Lantern either. Do you want to do you go home and tell Misha, you know what? I hate our home. I want to burn it down. Don't you just love me? No, it's, it's like it doesn't no. make any sense. You want to make you it sound crazy. Like yeah, you, you belong in the loony bin. Of course. Because America's fucking awesome. Yep. Dude. Crazy. It's it, it, one of these days, these people are going to wake up and not have a job anymore because Realize this, they've been used. This will. Yes. And, and well, and they'll be left to the curb because they're they're useful idiots now. But their use is coming to an end because yeah. people are waking up and they're supporting, you know, smaller companies, companies that care about them 
like the Ripperverse, you know, that people are freaking out on how good the Ripperverse is doing. And it's because they cater to their audience. Okay. All right. There's a, I read an article about the people who are working on the newest dare, the new daredevil that's coming out. The Disney plus. I don't know if it's Disney plus, uh, but I know that the people that have now been brought in cause they fired a shit ton of people, right? They fired a bunch of people. And then they, the people that they brought in now are like, like neck deep in in old daredevil stuff you know reading the old books reading watching everything and like just digging in as much as i can to like get to know what daredevil is and i'm like that's what you should be doing like that's that that's what you should care about daredevil you should care to make this character be awesome right captain marvel by the way is a fucking guy it's a man they they already Carol Danvers, uh, they they made it a girl, so they already you know sex swapped it. Um, I'm shocked they didn't go you know full on changing everything, race and everything. But you know, whatever. Um, like uh, Hannibal, did you hear about this? Hannibal, mm-hmm. Denzel Washington is going to play Hannibal. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, no, not not Hannibal Lecter. Oh, like, Hannibal, uh, Hannibal the Conqueror. You mean from history? Yeah, oh, that the would be fight, fighting Rome. Hell yeah! But I, I mean, love. and everyone's freaking out because Denzel Washington, I mean, Hannibal, I guess is like, um, Paris, not Parisian, um, oh, Venetian. Hannibal? No, Hannibal was from Africa, from I think Carthaginian. Carthaginian. That sounds right. Okay, but that's like North African, right? Mm-hmm. Like Middle East looking, not like Sub-Saharan Africa, which people are freaking out about. But it's like. Denzel could play a freaking piece of shit in a movie. A fruit. He could play a and, fruit and, I would, and do it. And I would, I would, wa- I would watch that movie. Like Denzel Washington's one of those actors that I like every single thing I've ever seen with Denzel Washington in it. You know, he's he's. I wouldn't say he's an action star, although Equalizer was pretty badass. And oh yeah, uh, I love all three of them. I mean, honestly, actually, he is an action star, but he's also he. I think he's my favorite American actor right now. He's amazing. And uh, so Denzel Washington to do anything, I wouldn't care. Um, And he's based. But there's so many people that are freaking out about him playing Hannibal. And I'm like, oh, no, he's perfect for Hannibal. You know, of all the fucking things that you're bitching about, like, all right, I get the Little Mermaid, right? Redhead, the redhead replacement um, and like race swapping. It's not Ariel. They had a they had a black uh, mermaid in the story, in the lore of Little Mermaid already, right. who was deaf, and it would have, cr- they could have created a whole new generation of mermaids based on that, like a whole new thing. But right. no, they did They wanted to take the little Ariel and make her black, and it's like, all right, that I it get being annoyed at. But like, I see all these people getting getting upset, and I'm like, come on, it's Denzel Washington, right? He's amazing, and he's. I mean, he's American, but he's also, you know, an African. But he also American. fits the role. He also fits the role. North Africa today, depending where you are. I mean, he's black, but Carthaginians, I don't know. I've read different in history. Some were black, some were more looking Semitic looking. So I don't know, but he fits the role. Also, if I know, hey, if I know Denzel's movies, they never, they really stick to the story. And that's yeah, the story. Exactly. It's like the problem with when they start race swapping or gender swapping in Hollywood in a typical movie is they kill the story. Again, Snow White with right. Rachel Ziegler. They didn't say we're getting a Hispanic to play Snow White. No, no. We're not making her love the prince. There's going to be no romance. She's going to go do this Girl conquer. Boss. Yeah, so that's not the story. That's why people right. were pissed. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Right, and even in, in Little Mermaid, too, you know, the when the prince in the original one, the prince, you know, he sacrifices himself, or almost does, and risks himself to kill Ursula at the end, Mm-hmm. Thus, earning King Triton's trust, and King Triton finally goes, you know what, I see that this human actually does, he, he would sacrifice himself to save you, thus I now trust it, and, and I'm allowing this, like, I, I'm cool. okay with you two being together. Like, that was pivotal for, like, the, the humans and the mermaids to, like, be cool in the right. end. And, like, they, no, 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 in the new one, I guess she saves it, and he's a freaking wimp who doesn't actually save the day. And, he can't and it's like, well, why the fuck would con- Triton change his mind? See, again, he, he can't kiss her without consent, and the whole point is the song, remember? Oh, Just yeah. one kiss. Right, how can again. he get consent? <laughs> he can't even get consent. <laughs> it's this, like, it's, it's crazy. It's a fucking clown world we live in, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
so there's that. Yeah, I, I just, I'm sick of it. And you know what? Good riddance. Let all these freaking woke bullshit burn to the ground and uh, fail. I'm not rooting for it, but uh, when it happens, I'm certainly not crying about it. I'm rooting for it. 